हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टूडे अवर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ब्लड ग्रुप पार्ट टू इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट आर एच ग्रुप इन डिटेल्स वॉट आर द डिफरेंट एंटीजेंस दैट आर रिलेटेड टू द आर एच ग्रुप वॉट आर द रेयर टाइप ऑफ ग्रुप्स लाइक आर एच नल एंड वीक डी हाउ टू परफॉर्म वीक डी बाय ट्यूब मैथड and by gel card method and what is the hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn there are 49 antigens which are related to the rh blood group the important ones are capital d capital c small c capital e small e which are encoded by two adjacent gene loci first is rh d gene and second is rh c e gene the rh d gene encodes the rh d protein with d antigen and its variant the rh c e gene which encodes the rh c e protein with capital c capital e small c small e antigen and its variants the rh positive means d antigen is present on the rbc represented with capital d along with other antigen present like capital c small c capital e small e rh negative means d antigen is absent represented with small d along with other antigen present like capital c small c capital e small e three important genes are rh d rh c e and rh a g which encodes distinct antigen rh d gene present on chromosomal number 1 encodes d antigen rh c e gene present on chromosome number 1 encodes four antigens they are small c e capital c small e small c capital e and capital c capital e so capital d small c e capital c small e small c capital e and capital c capital e together make eight combinations also called the haplotype which are expressed on the rbc surface two classifications winner and fisher race give a distinct name to this eight combination the upper case r is used when the d antigen is expressed and the lower case r is used when it is not expressed the rh protein carries the rh antigen but they are only expressed on the erythrocyte surface if rh ag is also present rh ag is rh associated glycoprotein so this is the classification in the first first group is r0 represented by capital d small c and small e and the next is represented by small r where capital d is absent and small c and small e is present it's r1 denoted by capital d capital c small e r prime denoted by small d capital c small e r2 denoted by capital d small c capital e r double prime denoted by small d small c and capital e capital r z denoted by capital d capital c and capital e r y denoted by small d capital c and capital e each individual have two combination of antigen which are expressed for example if mother has r0 r1 then father has r0 r2 the child can have possibilities of r1 r2 combination so according to this haplotypes the common haplotypes are r1 small r r1 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 r2 r2 small r r2 r2 and small r r and the rare haplotypes are r0 r r0 r0 r prime r r prime r prime r double prime r r double prime r double prime and r y r now let's learn the rare blood groups in rh system mainly it is r0 r prime r double prime and r y these four are rare blood groups in rh system the second one is d dash dash 
in this individual the rhc e gene is deleted and lacking the capital c small c and capital e small e antigen having a very strong expression of d antigen the third rare blood group is rh null it is also called the rh deficiency syndrome it lacks all rh antigens including capital d capital c small c capital e small e the incidence of this rh null is 1 in 6 million people and there are less than 50 people around the world who have rh null blood group till now it is most often result from consanguineous mating the genetic mechanism involving all three genes are rhce gene altered rh rhd gene deleted and with rhag gene is reduced or absent the syndrome is associated with stomatocytosis ferrocytosis increased osmotic fragility altered phospholipid asymmetry altered cell volume defective cation fluxes and elevated sodium potassium atpase activity and it is known as golden blood type the fourth rare blood group is rh mode there is a partial suppression of rh gene expression similar to rh null but the clinical features are less severe in rh mode fifth is weak d the genetic weak d is when the d antigens are complete but fewer in number or variable expression of d antigen is present the fifth is partial d the partial d result from the qualitative defect in the rh protein weak d antigen is a phenotype where the d antigen is weakly expressed on the red blood cells and this antigen cannot be detected by routine methods however the demonstration of this weakly expressed antigen can be undertaken by the prolonged incubation and the use of anti human globulin let's understand the tube method all negative blood group must be tested for weak d they are a negative b negative o negative and ab negative first make a 5% suspension of the blood to be tested and take 2 to 3 drops into the test tube and add one drop of anti d take another test tube and add 2 to 3 drops from the 5% suspension and add one drop of ns this test tube serves as a control incubate for 30 minutes and after 30 minutes wash with normal saline for 3 to 4 times after that add two drop of anti human globulin in each of test tube centrifuge for 1 minute and check for agglutination in the microscope if agglutination is absent then we can say it is a true negative blood group and weak d is negative but if the agglutination is present then we can say that the blood group is weak d positive Now let's understand the gel card method. From the 5% suspension, add 10 microliter of RBCs into the 1 ml of Lee's solution. This makes a 0.8% suspension. From this 0.8% suspension, add 50 microliter of blood into the gel card column. In the same gel card column, add 25 microliter of NTD. incubate for 5 minutes and centrifuge it after that and see for the reactions if the agglutination is present then we can say that blood group is weak d positive let's understand the hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn it is related to anti d antibody production the rh system antibodies are primarily rbc stimulated the immunization occur when the individual receives rbc carrying rh antigen which are not present on his or her or her own cells either through transfusion pregnancy or needle sharing the most rh antibodies are of immunoglobulin g class usually igg1 or igg3 subclass the antibodies usually appear between 6 weeks and 6 month after the exposure to rh antigen the hemolytic disease of fetus and newborn occur to rh negative mother and the when baby is rh positive 
these women often had a healthy first babies but subsequent pregnancies often result in the severe anemia in the fetus or still birth and spontaneous abortion because the fetal rbc enter the maternal circulation in small amounts during the pregnancy and in larger amount during the childbirth the first pregnancy with rh positive fetus will sensitize mother to anti d antibodies this anti d antibody predominantly having igg1 and igg3 subclass will cross the placenta and attach to d antigen which is well developed on the fetal rbcs in the subsequent pregnancies thus in the subsequent rh positive pregnancy the maternal anti d crosses the placenta resulting in destruction of fetal rbc the solution of this problem is rh immunoglobulin the rh immunoglobulin is a solution containing human igg anti d it is administered to rh negative mother during 28 week of pregnancy which is called the antepartum dose and again after the delivery of rh positive infant which is called the postpartum dose or at the time of induced or spontaneous abortion the rh ig prophylaxis is also needed when the baby is weak d positive important notes are the rh blood group system is clinically important in transfusion medicine the different nomenclature system can be used to help describe phenotypes and genotypes because the rh system is so polymorphic the antigen may be expressed weakly and it is important to have knowledge regarding weak d and other rare rh blood groups these are the references for this video hope you like it thank you bye see you in the next video